Three core arguments to use when seeking to invest in your field service management systems. Having looked at the importance of health and safety as one of the key fundamental arguments of how you can secure investment in a field service management solution, I'm now speaking to Danny Vida. Danny, thanks for joining us. Um, perhaps just to begin, you could just give us a little bit of background on yourself. Tell us about your role with HSO. Yeah, hi Chris, um, thanks for having me. So uh, I'm uh, Danny Vida. I'm a field service consultant at HSO and I help HSO's customers to imp implement Microsoft field service. Uh, and I do so having implemented field service packages for uh, the best part of 15 years now in various companies of various sizes and industries. Okay, perfect, thanks Danny. And so let's dive into the conversation around the importance of health and safety in terms of being able to build this, this case for investment. I mean, just how crucial is technology when it comes to ensuring that your field service engineers are working in the safest possible environment that uh, a company can provide? Well, I would say technology can really help uh, to make sure that field engineers are safe, uh, service engineers are safe, and uh, they also help companies to make sure they exercise the duty of care towards their employees. Uh, so if you take geofencing as an example, that's just been introduced uh, to Microsoft Field Service. It monitors uh, the GPS position of an engineer and can issue an automatic alert to the contact center okay. if an engineer has been on site for too long. So if in a long working scenario, you yeah. have the capability to um, avert a potential safety issue by sure. identifying it and reacting to it. Now, um, another area is perhaps is risk assessments. They've been around for a while, yeah. been paper driven. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes people do them on Excel. Mm -hmm. uh, Obvious issues, not, not easy to use. Today's modern mobile software can be configured so that an engineer gets a uh, risk assessment. In fact, has to do it before they can even get into the core details and progress it uh, and update it and so on. I see, yeah. Yeah, and that's a real benefit. And on top of that, the questionnaires now can be tailored so uh, the contents of the questions is different depending on the job type, on the work type of work to do. Okay. Um, so they become more relevant, perhaps more concise. Uh, and uh, I think uh, all, all things being considered, uh, that's a massive improvement in addition to mm -hmm. uh, uh, the toolkit set to make an engineer more safe. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's kind of tailoring it specifically to the, the, the job at hand, would you say? That's right, yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, what about things like um, technologies like body cams and, and, and other things that were starting to come in creeping? Are these, are these areas that you think that will become quite prevalent amongst field service organisations? Well, yes, I think body cams will come in. I think they are probably uh, most beneficial in areas where physical security of the engineer is actually important. So okay. it is sometimes, perhaps if you take the social housing sector, mm. Uh, building services, perhaps uh, engineers can face a physical threat, and their body comes very much like with police, really, uh, be beneficial in recording uh, what is said, what's done, what happens, uh, and sometimes, of course, also the engineer actions themselves, engineers' actions themselves. Yeah. Mm. I, I suppose in that sense, like you say, like the police, it's, it's also kind of, uh, it's a layer of insurance. And going back to this topic of... Um you know, being able to drive the incentive for the buying for such solutions. Um, things like that layer of insurance, that layer of um, being able to prove what's gone on in a scenario probably helps build that case a little bit further. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, so um, let's look at some of the core essential areas that field service companies need to focus on when it comes to health and safety. What would you say those core areas should be? So uh, perhaps the most immediate one is mm. risk assessments to make sure um, any risks are identified and uh, dealt with appropriately. And we've talked about that already. Mm. Uh, but very closely aligned, that's really method statements. So how do you go about doing a specific job? How do you make sure you do it safely? Yeah. Right. 
Now, in the past, uh, and this still happens, people had to take paper copies with them, which is quite difficult, obviously, if you're not near uh, the office or you need a printer or what have you download it. Uh, now, that's really changed. Okay. Um, you can now have links within your work order on, on your mobile device. You click the link. Uh, it couldn't be simply click the link. Mm. You download uh, the document. Uh, you read it. And then, obviously, you need to follow it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you know, it, it's quite revolutionary in terms of what you can do and how flexible you can be now uh, compared to what was possible before these systems came um, working hours and the monitoring of working hours is another mm. area. So if we, if we take a single day, you want to make sure an engineer doesn't drive too long, that he takes his breaks. Uh, I mean, apart from the working time directive, that you shouldn't work always 48 hours uh, a week. Uh, that was another issue. Um, so we can do that now in real time because as, as he as he takes a break or as he starts driving, as he arrives on site, these events get locked in real time on the system and we see that in real time. And uh, with, uh, with a business intelligence tool like Power BI, mm. you can display that on a dashboard and perhaps highlight any exceptions, anything that goes beyond your set parameters and immediately see that and take action, perhaps a cold engineer and uh, or reschedule the job or change stuff around so you don't fall foul of mm. these preset parameters. And that brings us to the end of this video. However, if you found this content of use, you may be interested to know that it's actually an excerpt from a much longer documentary produced exclusively by Field Service News in partnership with HSO. If you're a fieldservicenews.com subscriber, you can access the full length version of this video by simply clicking the links below. If you have yet to subscribe to fieldservicenews.com, then join 30,000 of your field service management peers and do so again by simply clicking the links below. But for now, thanks ever so much for taking the time to watch and listen. Thank you ever so much to HSO for being our partner on this project and we'll see you all again soon. Take care.